it was looking like one-way traffic until this man decides to put a spurt on, decides, do you know what? My opponent is getting it. I have it there. All I've got to do is get it out and use it. Ted Enke is now only two legs behind. 6-4 down to Simon Whitlock. Was playing dreadfully, he's picked himself up. He has made Simon Whitlock lose focus. Scott Waits wins 10-6 over Mark Webster. Tony O'Shea beats Andy Hamilton 10-7. Robert Thornton beats Mervyn King 10-8. As you see, Simon Whitlock 6, Ted Anke 4. John, you alluded to earlier the, the rope-a-dope as in just kind of Ted being the, the meek and what you think you're on your way to win? 100. And what happens is you, you just lose the focus because you're about to, you think you're about to win easily. And Ted still didn't show anything, you know. So it's very hard to focus without need. Need is a very big part of focus. Well pointed out. I think Ted needed a break after exerting all that energy. 60. Into letting Simon have it. Let him know how he feels. Certainly still got the drive and passion as Ted Anke on his first world title 13 years ago. And his last title, world 60. title, just four years ago. He's not going to leave him that quick. He still has the ability, doesn't he? Look, he sure, did, he sure does. I'm a little surprised here. Simon has come out a bit flat. I would have thought that break would have helped it quite a bit, but only 81 and 60. Yeah, I completely agree because Ted Henke did not want the break, even though I just said he needed it, as in just to regroup for, for a couple of seconds. But Simon would have been thinking, I've just got to carry on and play through this. Okay, here's what I was expecting out of Simon. <laughs> it just took him nine darts instead of six. Yeah, but the, the point here is Ted still has control of this leg he started. Very much so now. The reason Ted Anke back in this match. Look at the 140s. One of the main reasons. That, that's brilliant scoring from Ted. With, with the 140s. Okay, 61. not enough tons, but... He's never been the most consistent thrower, has he? So tops. 41. And a chance now. Simon, you require he hasn't looked like hitting any big outs so far in the match, though, Simon. He's played well, but needs two trebles here. No. Well, I feel sure he would have gone 57 tops, tops, but we shall never know. The thing is, he's, I think his pace is just too slow. 20. and. Uh, you can't really do much about it. Double 10 for Ted. Not a very helpful dart. Double five. Huge. Huge now. He's only one leg back. From 6-1 down. Simon will be thinking, come on, steady this ship. Got to get back. To the, you're quite right about the focus, John. Got to get back to the focus right at the start of the match and for the first five, six legs of the match because the last 15 minutes have been sheer hell for the big Aussie. Sixteen. Simon starting this leg at 140 of his own. And when you have been struggling... And it's your throw. It's a perfect start. And that's a perfect follow-up. That's what he needs now. In my opinion, he needs a hold of throw that he's just done and dusted. No drama. He needs to win a leg again. So, yes. <laughs> 140. Ted won the last four. So. And, and every big shot now that, that Ted is hitting is, is kind of doing something to show off. And he's orchestrating the choir. Super, super Ted being bellowed out here at the Civic Hall. 137. Ted needs a super turn here, and he won't be able to leave a finish with that treble one. 
better switch because he would knock that other one out within Sammy the triple 20. 84. 60 for 24. Well, going the 25 route, that leaves single 19. Double 20. 44. Yeah, it was just playing to get the one shot or to leave tops because Ted not on a finish. Sensible darts. Composed darts. He's not panicking. 59. Mentally, Sammy he's fine. 40. For 7 5. Double top. Double 10. Will he use the dart? Didn't need to. Important leg to Ted for Simon Whitlock. He just needed to win a leg. And as important as that was for Simon, this is about five times more important for Ted to hold. Because otherwise the game is just yeah, gone away from him again. He's just going to run away because 8 5 and then 9 5, Simon holds a throw. Big, big trouble. So Ted needs to be hitting better than tons. And hold look, his throw. Looking at Simon Whitlock now, he's definitely more focused than he was just before the break. Well, the need is there now. 58. <laughs> definitely there. He knows it. He doesn't want to have Ted yelling at him in his direction anymore. Because it'll only get worse each and every time. Yeah, when you do play an, an opponent that celebrates absolutely everything, you're 44. thinking, right, I'm going to give you nothing. Absolutely diddly squat to celebrate. And sometimes you can over try, can't you? 99. That is for sure. You can always over try. Just when you need to kind of go back to play. Pay no attention. 100. I <laughs> like Ted makes it awfully hard, though. Does know a few tricks in the trade. Fluent Ted back it, back with us again. Unlucky there. Very unlucky. That was right in with the other two and just deflected over. Yeah, and even a single 20 would made made a difference, wouldn't it, to, to the out shot. Well, I think a bull, a bull finish here from Ted would certainly give him reason to scream. Needs treble 17 for that possibility. Well, he's down to 99. Not impressed. Well, it, he obviously asked the, the referee, Paul Hinks, that what's left 99, yes, was the answer. 41. And then you see Ted Mel, I love that one. Being rather sarcastic. 60 57 tops this would hurt 60. Well, loads of pressure on 10 simple shot don't hit a five he's done that a few times so now single 20 who just barely one dart for tops 60. no now this is where simon top player that he is is likely to punish treble 19 18. For 14 he went, but needed the treble. 81. Well, at one point there, I'm sure Simon Whitlock looked at the double 19 for tops, then changed his mind, but it will be academic. Double five. Is it this before? Is it it again? Let him. Simon Whitlock know that he's still there. Well, you did say at the start of that leg, John, that that was five more times important for Ted Hankey to win that leg. And he kind of showed it, didn't he? Well, and Whitlock spurred a very good opportunity. I think 97 left. His quality, quality level of player Simon is, he'd be really upset he didn't take that. Well, it Not was that he got a shot, but sorry. he should have. It was actually six darts at 157 and never had a, a double. That, that, that's not good enough. For sure, you're absolutely right. But even with the 97 uh, in its own right, you'd be disappointed he didn't nail that. That said, he still just has to hold his own throws to win. 45. Ted did not punish there. In fact, it's like so bad a turn that Simon will be at ease here for this score. At ease. This is, that's the 
if you don't punish a guy, it's, you get the opposite effect. You make him throw brilliant. You see Ted just pulled the second dart. Knew he had to get another 60 and did. 15 140s now, nearly double the 140s of Simon Whitlock. But not to a finish, Ted, so Simon would have wanted more out of this turn. Much more, only leave 150 from 208. I guess Ted might have got to him. Another 140, please. That's what Ted would be thinking. 100. Simon, you require 150. 150. Sometimes starts on the balls, all right? Well, he started on treble 19. Needs another. Well, that's unlucky. Another treble 19 would have left double 18. What an opportunity coming here for Ted to level the match. 94. So you require would have thought 76. It. Treble 20. Look at the aggression in his face. 16 for tops. Can he control that aggression? Can he control oh, that aggression? Just a beautiful dart at tops. So sweet. Simon Whitlock was a one to six shot. That meant every six pound you put on, you only got seven back. And he was six to one up. There's no one to six shot now, I'll tell you. 99. You ready for this? Ted Hankey is leading this match. And I'm pretty sure all he has to do is hold his throw from here. 59. You would be correct. How has Ted Hankey made this possible? 6-1 down. 6-1 down, I tell Lee. You got to put it down to charisma. 100. He is a character. He's got character. <laughs> yeah. Simon will be thinking that this has just gone terribly wrong. I've got to put it right. I've got to refocus. Refocus and start playing the darts I can play that I've been playing all the way through this Grand Slam. 140. I mean... Simon Whitlock's brain must be just a swirl with thoughts now. It must be so hard to focus. 96. And Ted Hankey, in the last probably three, four legs, is playing his best darts of the match. So that must be hard as well. He doesn't care what he leaves. He just does not care. It's a double. He thinks he's going to get it. Ideally... I don't think he'd have wanted to leave 22, but he left it. Well, he'd get it, I suppose. He's been hitting every double in these. Why not? Double 11. 22. To go ahead. Yes. He has just a little bit of focus. And a whole lot of aggression. You know, it's the aggression just driving those darts in. Doesn't need a lot of focus. Just willing it in. And the aggression has given him the adrenaline to, to be as, as hyped as he is. One hundred. And although he's down in this leg, Ted, if he breaks, can throw for the match. It just seems incredible, John. What, what are we saying that's for? Well, Simon has a much different perfection plan. 125. Credit here to Simon Whitlock. It would have been easier to play bad, wouldn't it? At this precise moment, it would have been easier to to kind of roll over. But no, 100. Simon Whitlock doesn't know how to do that. Looking for a ton, 140, possibly another 180. Well, Simon's been in plenty of tough matches, right down to the 100. wire. He just wasn't expecting it here, which sometimes can ambush you be your own worst enemy state of mind is wrong it will not Ooh. go right that was a significant miss if that 180 would have been a real threat but leaving 161 not so much 
Simon should be pretty comfortable for the old treble 20. Now it's going to leave double eight if he gets it. Yes, double eight. Game Levels the match. Flag. Hey, Seven emotion. <laughs> he hasn't had a chance to show any for quite a while. Biggest leg of the match. 41. But I think the emotion judges were giving really low scores for that one, Simon, after the displays Ted has had. Well, Ted wouldn't give him a lot for it, would it? No. Really, when Ted plays, we need three or four guys down in the front with the scorecards. Kicking off 41 like Ted done. Like Ted did, sorry. And 140 for Simon. Got to hit two trebles, you think. One's not enough. He's still effectively 60. lost the throw. That is not enough. Ted Enke is in trouble. Well, not as much as he was in before, but at this point of the match, yes. There's obviously less chances now to get away with it. Won't have time to pull it back. 100. Steadied the ship. Let's see what happens. Needs a 140 for 261. To, to level. And this leg he started. Now he's 16. just falling further, further behind. Ted knows that all the hard work may have just been undone because we spoke about Ted may be thrown for the match. Well, it could turn around so seven. quick that if Simon Whitlock breaks here, which is looking likely-ish, that he will be thrown for the match. The danger for Simon if he wins this leg 81. is to get a good start in his own leg. He might just be susceptible to relaxing a bit and losing a little bit of that focus again because he thinks he salvaged it already. You, you can't get ahead of yourself. 100. Is it possible to relax at this stage of a match? My goodness. Oh, good switch, good switch. Excellent switch. He's left 125, so pressure on 104. Likes the 48. We've seen him at this in the first leg of the match. 16. What a dart this could be. 64. Teddy McCall, 125. Ball. Or 25, 60 tops. Poor, poor dart. Yeah, 117 left. And the very unlikely prospect of Simon missing, but Simon just don't know at this point. The motions are high. The dart is low. It's double ten. One dart left. Twenty. Oh, he's sending the emotion right there. Deep knee bend. Bang. Yes, double top for Ted. Hold the throw. Double ten. Flag. Ted, Ted Anke controlled the nerves, flag. the emotion, better than Simon Whitlock. And he pumps his adrenaline back up by the celebration. He maintains the level. 135. Well, th this leg it is, it's going to seem really strange to say this, but it's not about Ted Anke. This leg is all about Simon Whitlock. He will want to just... Hold throw and then hopefully 100. force a decider. But this man may put all the pressure on him to not do so. This is one of the strangest dart matches I think I've ever seen. The crowd was singing Super Ted and Ted, whilst Simon Whitlock was throwing, was, was orchestrating them again. 41. Four 19s and a treble 20 would leave 170. Well, he's opted to switch, was covered a bit. He was thinking about leaving 99. the 170 though. We were talking about it at the beginning of the match. Never came up so far. One forty, John. One hundred. Well, he's just close enough that Simon knows a 140 puts him on the 120. So there is some pressure on Simon here. 260 left with six starts. Very possible. Oh, oh there's pressure on him, all right. 95. Now, big visit. 
and a 60. Well, no, can't leave and finish with a five. The five has been his undoing many points in this match. Yeah, now he fills. 60. Great last start. What pressure will Simon Whitlock be under to stay in this match? He'll be under bucket Simon loads of pressure. 24. Double 12 for nine apiece. Yeah, oh, so just barely in the corner, Simon but it counts Whitlock. just as well as if it was in the center. How important is this visit? 85. Well, it doesn't hurt, does it? Yeah, that's a that's an iffy one. Could get punished. Could come out ahead. Never know. Oh, what has gone wrong here? John, the darts were thrown flat. The hand was not working. Nerves have taken over. This is Ted Hankey's to win. Simon Whitlock was a bag of nerves 100. with that first throw, and he knows it. Sometimes you just need to like jab the dart in the palm of your hand or something to like get rid of your nerves. Struggling mightily to get near the treble. You can Flight see of the dart, just not proper. Correct. Not, not his normal crispness, not the normal snap. 81. Oh, a great third dart treble. You know, 81 normally you think isn't such a great shot, but in that case, excruciating for Simon. 60. Not a treble in the leg and nine darts for Simon. H harsh to say, I, I know, but I, I really do think that Simon has just wilted under the pressure. He's just buckled. He's completely folded. He's played Ted Hankey. As Ted Anke, whereas Ted Anke has played Simon Whitlock like a banjo. Yeah. One hundred. Ted, Choices for Ted. Could go for bull. No theatrics here when he's so close to the win. Seventy-five left. Should be treble seventeen to leave his favorite double twelve. As long as it's just a 17, so that's fine. As long as there was no two or three in that combination, he was fine. Simon has to hit two trebles. Big trebles at that. There's one. A 1-3-3 one, three, three would be absolutely superb. 95. Well, there's some pressure on. 18. For tops. For the match. Ted Anke has somehow managed to beat Simon Whitlock 10 legs to 9. You'll have to ask him how he done it because I have no idea. Yes, absolutely unbelievable comeback from 6-1 down for Ted Hankey against the brilliant Simon Whitlock this week. But he finally broke down and it was Ted that did it. Ted manufacturing heart emotion just guts plenty of guts and squeaks out a 10 to 9 victory and now we'll go to join Dave Clark on stage Ted you're very emotional after that how on earth did you pull off that victory But I, I can understand the emotion he's going through. Every ounce of emotion and adrenaline has just been used up in that match. That was one of the most incredible feats when something... He wasn't actually playing well, but he ground it out and played Simon Whitlock. I was so aggressive. So aggressive, Wayne. Just... I think I was 6-1 down, and I'm just hitting myself on the edge saying, you're better than this. You're better. I'm actually beating myself, I'm literally hitting myself. Better than this, Simon's playing well, but I was pathetic first session, absolutely pathetic. And then, you know, just... Ah! You never gave up though, it's the fighter in Ted Hankey. No, I never give up, I never, ever, ever give up. I mean, Simon's played brilliant there, I mean, I think he was saying he's 6-1 up, but I just...
to play better. I was terrible sometimes. Sloppy darts in the five, sloppy darts in the one. Some of these were screaming at me, they were doing me head in. And I just got so wound up and I found a place. I found a place and I went to it and I was all right. I was all right. It was absolutely incredible because at one point, being completely outplayed, somehow managed to not just drag himself into it, but even when he was behind, he managed to make Simon wilt. Simon was leading, but didn't feel like a leader. You used every trick in the book. You slowed him down and you, you got the crowd on your side, got them against you. I, I, I never came here to play game, Dave. So honestly, I just came here to play darts. But if I remember rightly, it's 6-1 down. And after that, I never missed a double. I'm sure I never missed a double after that. And I think that was a big key to the game. Your, your uh, celebrations were pure raw emotion. Deliberately aimed that way? No, no. I was more annoyed at myself, Wayne. I was so annoyed at being 6-1 down because I played so bad. I'm hitting myself on my head to say you can play better. And every time I'm hitting one, I'm whacking myself. I'm going into, into my inner self to say, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. But at nine each, I've got the darts. And for some reason, his, his first nine darts were just terrible, terrible. Because to be honest with you, I expected to lose the last leg. Ted, the chanting your name here, what does that Makes mean? Makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, no booze, come on! Yeah! It's been a, a miserable year for you on the circuit, ever since the Grand Slam last year. The emotions were running high. Is this the, the kickstart your career needs right now? Well, I said today when I came here, because I've not been well, like I say, the past 12 months. I've got a problem now which is bothering me, which I have to try and fix to get through the day, which has been difficult today to get to where I am today. But I said to my manager, my wife, and everybody involved with me, Steve, I went tonight, if I win, it's the kickstart of my career. This is where it starts if I win tonight. What's Scott Waits got to face then when you play him in the quarter-final? Listen, I love Scott to bits and he loves me to bits, but tell you what, he's going to expect me to slow him down. I ain't. I'm going to speed him up. No trickery, no trickery. J just plays the board, that's all he does. I've got to say, normally there's only one way to win a darts match, and that is to be the best player throughout and, and do what you've got to do. But what this man does is proves that people are so fragile and so susceptible when someone stands up to them, and he just stood up to Simon Whitlock. Ted, I'm sure on behalf of this crowd, we'd like to thank you for the entertainment. You've been a, a great, great fighter there, fantastic. Thanks, Dave.